way that we're going to be able to finance, you know, a trillion and a half dollars of debt every year is to have the Federal Reserve buy a big chunk of it, which is exactly what's been going on. And that is sooner or later going to blow up. The fact is anybody with a room temperature IQ in fiscal economics knows we are heading for a fiscal cliff and we're going to fall off sooner or later. Right, but what the Fed has done, you know, throughout this crisis and what it's doing in terms of buying treasuries right. and stimulating the economy is only one small part, right, of this entire, entire fiscal situation that we find ourselves in. Oh, right. I mean, the real problem in the fiscal situation does not come from the Fed. It comes from the fact that the Congress and the President won't get together and do what we have to do. They're all playing politics with the issue. They're playing short-term politics. Not They're not operating in the long-term interests of the country. Everybody's going to have to pay their share, including the wealthy. There is absolutely no way that we're going to get out of this and frankly we should those people those of us who frankly have been blessed to do well in this country have to pay more I totally support that but there are major programs including Medicare Medicaid and Social Security that we all know are basically uh, going to have to be adjusted because that's what those are the driving forces for the so uh, soaring deficits we're looking at in the mm. future